Notice how when you eat salmon, they're often a lot stronger than other fish. There's a lot more content to their meat. You ever wonder why? Have you ever heard of the journey a salmon has to go to? They're often born in one river and they spend their whole life traveling back to where they breed. And in a lot of these, there's actually some walls of waterfalls that the salmon have to climb up. They go up a waterfall. As a fish, they're defying gravity. Crazy, right? And this has me thinking about a lot of journeys in life, that the most rewarding journeys are the ones with the most friction. And the idea of this video is how can we remove as much friction in a frictionful journey? Let me break down what I mean by that. Let's say, for example, you want to become an author. Well, let's break down being an author. There's a lot of steps involved in that. One step involved in being an author is learning a lot of information so then you can understand, okay, here's how some people share theirs. To find your own voice, you have to have heard the voice of all the others. So one way you're gonna have to do this is you're going to have to read more. And reading is a point of friction. If, you have to, if I tell you you have to read for 10 years before you become knowledgeable enough to write your own book, it's gonna seem really discouraging. But how can we remove as much friction from it? First off, if you break that down book by book, think, no, I'm not reading for 10 years. I get to read this amount of books. I get to expand my knowledge to this point because it's not like after 10 years, you know everything. No, you're continuously building over a period of 10 years. Another factor to consider is how can you make this reading more accessible? Well, if you have that reading, 10 years of reading is not just, you need to read for 10 years. No, there's gotta be a finite number in there somewhere. Whether that number is a thousand books, whether that number is 2000, no matter what the number is. That means that if you have your book on your nightstand, if you read that every day, well, you're gonna be chipping off a lot faster at this time. If you then listen to an audiobook, if you then have your book sitting on your counter, if you have multiple copies laying around your house, you're always gonna be thinking about reading. The idea is, is you want to, in that friction journey, which is going to be anything fulfilling in life, nothing in life, none of the goods feel as good without having the hard, the lows to back them up. None of the highs feel as high without having the lows to balance them out, right? One quote that I actually came up with, I talk about a lot of quotes, but one quote that I'm pretty proud of myself is life is full of ups and downs because if life is just one consistent stroke, that's flatlining and that's not living. See what I did there, you know, flatlining, you know, dead patient. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll pat myself on the back for that right now. Pat on the back. Um, yeah, so if you want to make, if you want me to make a full video breaking down how to smooth out the journey as much as you can while not making it too smooth, right? Like one way making pretty much any journey smoother is winning the lottery and then having a ton of money at your disposal. But that's going to make it less fulfilling. Okay, if you have all the money to buy these a thousand books at once, you're not reading all a thousand books at once. You're not going to form your own thoughts. The point is you read one, but you read each book as it comes. You're not going to be able to afford every book at once. Every book isn't going to be right for you at the same time. So while that is a cheat code, it makes it too smooth and it makes the journey not as fulfilling. So let me know how I can help you smooth out your journey. And I'll see you on the other side.